so the first story I want to get into is this Cineworld thing. So, pretty much what happened was there was a film, and it was actually made by Muslims. So, before anyone goes, oh, all Muslims are crazy and all, you know, racist shit. I want to make this clear. This does not represent all Muslims. There are going to be loads of Muslims who are completely fine with people making fun of Muhammad or things of that nature because they believe in tolerance, they believe in freedom, they believe in, you know, great liberal values. There will be loads of Muslims who will completely be on the same page as me, right? Not that this film makes fun of Muhammad, by the way, but pretty much the film which was released on UK cinemas on the 3rd of June claims to tell the story of the Lady Fatima, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad. It's been criticised by some groups for depicting the Prophet Muhammad, which is seen as an insult to Islam and its portrayal of prominent revered figures in the early Sunni Islam. So, I want to, like, first of all, say that, again, this isn't all Muslims. However, this group who are doing this, I completely support their right to protest, don't get me wrong. Like, all power to them for protesting. However, what they're doing is, they're actually going to some staff of Cineworld who probably get paid minimum wage. So now they've actually had to remove the screening because these people cannot handle their you know profit being shown and first we want to say that that's not okay all right that's not okay so i want to do this draw draw a line in the sand here you do not get to dictate what religions can be made fun of displayed in certain ways that that's not how it works because one of the great things about the uk is tolerance you know we tolerate kind of religion we tolerate making fun of religion we tolerate all things to do with religion right i'm sorry i'll just keep on drinking it's because my throat we tolerate kind of people making fun of religions people kind of you know insulting them making fun of like the amount of films to do with you know maybe jesus being a pedo like crazy films mocking all sorts of religions right there's so many so when there's a film which even just simply depicts Prophet Muhammad and people are freaking out, like, you, it's not, you cannot shut that down, all right? It's not for you to say, oh, you can't do that. Because no, we live in a liberal society where you can insult religion. You can do that. And frankly, the people who are calling for violence of, like, execution and stuff over this, like, that is ridiculous. That is completely ridiculous. And, you know... I appreciate, you know, it is a massive insult to Islam to depict Muhammad. And I don't think it should be done viciously. Like, I, I, if I was a filmmaker, I probably wouldn't do it, especially for my own safety. Because there have been people around the world who have literally been murdered for showing the Prophet Muhammad. And you, you cannot attack someone for depicting the Prophet Muhammad. It is not your right, right? This is a liberal society. You cannot just be like, hang on. You can attack any religion, but my religion, you can't attack. No, 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 no. That's not how it works at all. So, to be honest, I'm quite shocked by this. I'm shocked that it's got taken off cinemas. And I'm I'm shocked that they've actually bowed down to this mob because it is a mob, you know. I've, I've seen a video of a guy literally saying he's willing to give up his life for this. And they will fight back, pretty much saying, you know, he's willing to do some very bad acts and we know what that means because i'm not i'm not being hyperbolic here there have been terrorist attacks over this all right so you know <coughs> the like this is a serious problem and um, the film should be kept up and it should be kept for quite a few reasons one of them being if you if you bow down to the mob then you're making it okay for people like this to have these insane violent views towards people who show the prophet muhammad and that's unacceptable. In the UK, we should not tolerate people who would want who want to murder people if they, you know, show something they don't like, do something they don't like. That's not how it works. So, like again, I don't want to insult Muslims, and this doesn't, this really doesn't depict a bunch of Muslims because a Muslim made the film, all right. So it's it's not all Muslims at all. There's, I'm sure there's loads of Muslims who think what they're doing is atrocious, and the people have called for violence and to do awful things. Like, they're insane. I'm sure majority of Muslims are on the same page. But the Muslims which are doing this, I've got to wonder, like, wh- like what what kind of is the motive? N- no, so not what's the motive, what's the end line? Because if this doesn't get pulled, what, like, what are you going to do? 
because that's when it gets to st- scary territory because there have been multiple terrorist attacks over things like this like i know a woman in france got i believe she she drew muhammad and she got um stabbed to death i believe so like this this really is kind of quite disturbing and you know the fact that kind of they are bound down to the mob because for the safety of the um staff is really shocking it's like kind of just it's ludicrous and i know that and what i'm scared is that there's going to be labor mps who actually defend this i'm really really hoping that labor actually say you know this isn't okay you can make fun of any religion like like this is not okay so but pretty much um incredibly dangerous road quoted health secretary savage javid also criticized the decision to pull the film so fair play to him you know um the health secretary said you might not like what someone's got to say but they have the right to say it a fucking man mr javid pointed out that there's been no blasphemy laws in the uk and warned that this would be an incredibly dangerous road to go down what we have in the this country freedom of speech freedom of expression and that is a fundamental value he added so well said mate because it like this this is just insane this is absolutely insane and there shouldn't people should not bow down to it they should not go oh right okay people are angry people are this so we're just gonna you know we're gonna bow down to that's that should not be the case it should be like no we're gonna show the prophet muhammad if we want because we're in a liberal society you don't get to dictate that if you don't like it fair enough sign a petition protest anything don't attack people don't don't um you know harass um uh staff members of cine world because like is it really would be really horrific if you know let's say cine world had had enough staff and security and they actually kept it going you know there could easily be a terrorist attack and that's not okay that's not okay that people can just be like right well you can't make fun of our religion so we're just gonna we're just gonna attack you if you make fun of ours like no that's ridiculous that's ridiculous people make people can make fun of you know Sikh Buddha um you know Jesus like make fun of all the religions you want right people like people aren't gonna go around murdering you but if you do this boom there's people who literally will murder you over showing it that's just not okay that is not okay right and anyone who defends it you i don't know what's going through your mind but you, you cannot just defend murder right that's fucked right but anyway yes yeah, it's, it's quite a big story i think it's a big story because it does it really does need to be called out um that it's not okay to f- kind of do what they're doing it's okay to protest it's not okay to violently harass um staff members um and i know there's been serious like heated to say the least protest and i heard yeah i heard one guy say something pretty horrific don't forget to follow the podcast on spotify by simply typing in the radical english gentleman going over to it clicking that follow button and giving it the five stars if you do enjoy it it helps more than you can imagine anyway love you all and peace